I want to talk with you about the 44 portal and to bring you another energetic update with guidance from tarot, oracle cards and of course from the spirit guides. So we have 444, the angel number. I'll put that there so you can see it. Hopefully you can see that. It says responsibility, practicality, honesty and wisdom. So these are words which resonate so strongly with the number four that when i pu pulled out purposefully because we're at the 444 portal and this card i pulled from the rose oracle by rebecca campbell and this card is the crowning it says initiation threshold birth rebirth a seat at the table that is the card which was at the bottom of the deck and I was drawn to pull that out and use that for this reading. So I have a few Oracle decks here. I've got my Black Cat Grimalkin Tarot and I've got my own personal Grimalkin here, Tilula, the little witch cat. So I've got the Grimalkin Tarot which I'll be pulling from. I've got the Goddesses and Sirens deck, I've got the Mythic Oracle deck, the Rose Oracle. Before I pull cards, I'm just going to tell you some information which I have written down beforehand. So the energy of fours resonates strongly with Saturn. So Saturn is one of the biggest planets, if not the biggest planet. And Saturn is represented in mythology by... Zeus's father Cronus. So Cronus was quite a unforgiving and quite cruel figure. He ate his own children just so that he could not be overthrown and he could cling on to his power. There's quite a lot of emphasis on power. The lesson that that myth, myth can teach us is having patience and being graceful and everything must relinquish its hold on this life on this world and on its power and but the thing to remember is that nothing really dies energy just always changes a fixed sign like myself sometimes we do not like change and Cronus he certainly did not like change the thoughts can also represent hard work paradigm shifts crosses and squares so there's some of the shapes which four points can make so a cross or as catholics would do it a cross or a square okay so that's interesting because the in pagan symbolism the square it represents the element of earth as well we've with squares we have like the four quarters as well so there's the cardinal points and the four quarters as well so that is all connecting so fours in a reading can represent money making luxury planning for the long term so in this reading the fact that we're coming through the four four portal these are all important matters to be aware of so money making so this is a opportune time for devising money making plans and or planning ahead for the future for the long term thinking about what skills you can develop and what things you can put in place for the long term which you're going to see a return on so this is the message of the 444 portal in the major arcana the emperor is representative of the four energy as that is the fourth card in the major arcana the emperor card okay so the emperor card is the connection with aries there which is interesting because we came into the aries season at the end of March or t 
towards the mid to end of March. So the Emperor, he is quite a powerful authority figure. So I'll read some of the information which I've noted down. So the Emperor represents accountability for our actions. A popular saying which may resonate with the Emperor card energy is actions speak louder than words. So the Emperor is notorious from starting from the bottom and building his way up to the top. So these are the kinds of energies which are rife right now. Think about making a name for yourself. So made yourself as an authority figure. Maybe think of ways in which you can implement this and make this a reality and plant that seed and grow towards that. All of the people who are who are authority figures and they've all started somewhere unless you're like Prince William or something and you was born into it. So a lot of the people who are now in like Forbes magazine, millionaires, Bill Gates, whoever, Elon Musk. So these people, they've all worked for it, as far as I'm aware anyway. I may be wrong in some cases, but the majority of people who are dirty rich are people who have been very smart and worked their way from the bottom and to the top and put money schemes in place and created things so this is what the emperor energy is all about there's an emphasis for taking care of unfinished business as well if you're one of those people who start projects people like myself if, if you start like lots of projects and then you move on to another project without finishing the first project then the emperor is going to kick your butt right now because this for for energy is going to be it's going to want a resolution and it's going to want those loose ends tying up okay so another energy that comes in with the emperor card is the rise and fall of empires there may be people who you envy so people who have amassed millions six-figure businesses etc etc but the important thing to remember is that we all come here with nothing and we all leave here with nothing so all empires build up and grow and empires will eventually those same empires will eventually diminish into nothing and fall into the dust basically so that is another message from the emperor so it's it's not to dishearten you from trying so it's just to remind you that yes you are, can be an authority figure yes you can be powerful yes you can be rich but just to be stay humble about it and not let it get to your head with this kind of emperor energy there is a massive responsibility so each of us have big responsibilities in our lives so depending on whichever person you may have a certain responsibility to your pet to your children to your husband, wife, boyfriend, to your job, I, I hate to say it, but, or to yourself, being self-employed, these are all responsibilities, exude the authority and to grow our influence, it's like the famous saying, Rome was not built overnight, patience is needed, if you want to reach the top of the ladder, if you're influencing people into making decisions, if you're guiding them down a certain path, that is a big responsibility and make sure you're doing that well and for the greater good of all concerned. 
to tarot from there in the tarot in the minor arcana pentacles swords cups wands god it's been a long day these each have a four a four card in each of those sets for cups we have the recuperation card so this is an energy which is going to be important right now so each of us need to take some time some of these cards may have different effects or may these these energies may be around us all so they may all of these four sorts of energies on multiple messages which I've pulling through or which I have looked into with the numerology so these energies are going to be around us and may influence us recuperation so that is resting rebuilding growing recuperation comes from the four of swords and boredom comes from the four of cups so this may be another energy which is quite rife around us just not knowing which way to go or not having so many options in front of you and not being really excited about any of them so that is it's that kind of energy there so be careful of that I've written down prosperity and possessions so four of wands that represents prosperity and four of pentacles that represents possessions and belongings so those are some of the basic messages behind the tarot so next i want to pull a few cards from each of the decks and we'll go a bit deeper into the messages for this time for the four four portal I'm going to go a bit further from, from the crowning card. I'm going to pull another card from the same deck. So, oh, that's weird. So that's literally, oh, these two cards have, have turned the wrong way. So the Whispers of Mother Earth and the Wild Rose. So creativity, ideas, inspiration, artist, writer, channel. So that's interesting that we were talking about like influencers. So it's all to do with the creativity, inspiration, artists, writing, being a channel and being an influence. So the whispers of Mother Earth. So Mother Earth is, she's talking to us. It's a beautiful saying. There is music in the trees for those who listen. So it's Mother Earth is always here to talk with us and to give her guidance but we just need to take some time to listen listen out for that guidance so the wild rose that says do it your way embrace your uniqueness uniqueness sorry untamed okay so that is interesting so yeah, there's all of the creative energy in the first card. And then it, there's the crowning. So it's holding on to the sovereignty, your birthright, going through the initiations, having a seat at the table. Like you're at the round table. So imagine being at a meeting. So think of like Agamemnon in ancient times. Agamemnon, he was quite a uh, ruthless at least what you see in the depictions from in the movies such as Troy so he was quite ruthless but he was quite clever in the way that he had other kings he, he'd overthrown other kingdoms and empires like what I was mentioning with the rise and falls so Agamemnon he overthrew other kingdoms and he he had other, he had people who were kings answer it, answering to him. So he he went on this 
war to fight against Troy and he had other kings backing him so the seat at the table so that reminds me of sort of like the round table where you have other other people with power authority with sovereignty and they can be around you and you can all work towards a common goal it was the the wild rose card where that scene do it your way embrace your uniqueness so so there is a time and place for working as a working with the collective and there's, there's a time for retreating into your into na into nature into your own thoughts and embracing that you are a wild creature you are part of in an extension of nature you are part of nature and just celebrating that so those are those three cards so i'm going to pull a couple of cards from this so this is the mythic oracle mythic oracle what would you like to say spirit please bring through some messages for us okay so whoa that's a bit weird okay that is really freaking weird because <laughs> i was just talking about troy and agamemnon and which card do i pull out achilles so wow that, that is quite freaky i feel like this is an important story which is being brought up for us again by spirit so there's the whole trojan horse so agamemnon and his posse they send in the Trojan horse because after they couldn't get into Troy they tried a different tactic so they had warriors inside the Trojan horse who then opened up the impenetrable gates of Troy so that the Agamemnon's, Agamemnon's army could get in and then overthrow the city so Achilles he so his message is glory, and that's quite interesting when it, when you look at that with the some of the other cards and some of the other messages. So the Emperor card, he's to do with being glorious, being strong, and working hard. And Achilles, he is also a poster boy for some of those same values. So it's really interesting that we've gone down this route with Agamemnon and Achilles. Is there anything that you personally, if if you know that story, it may, if you know that story, what what important factors in that story stick out to you? What is your intuition picking up? On? on from that particular story in myth mythological history so please do let let us know in the comments I, i'm very intrigued because i feel this is very strange how i was picking up about the emperor and agamemnon we just went went off on a limb talking about Agamemnon and then Achilles has popped out at, at us and there's the sword as well look at the sword if you've clicked on this video you saw me holding my sword which is a replica of Glamdring but look at Achilles's sword that looks like such a beautiful and powerful sword yeah I just kind of heard that so that kind of <laughs> probably sounded a bit funny but the pun was intended strange I, i've not actually pulled this card before so i'm going to have a look at the book which comes with this to see what messages what the message comes along with this card so because i am quite intrigued by that so Achilles, he's number... Oh, wow, and I never even noticed that. So there's more fours with the card. Achilles, he's number 41. 
card number 41, which is quite interesting. 4 and 1 equals 5. Hmm. So, so it, where is the... All right, so it says, Achilles is here to remind you that the greatest warrior has within him the greatest love. This is the vulnerability that he accepts. As it is better to die for what you believe in and what you love than to live comfortably without love or courage. He represents our desire for glory and immortality as humans and complexity and grief that exists within our search for it. He accepts the inevitable and yet strives for meaning and purpose. This is a fundamental link that binds together all humankind. If you've drawn this card today, you may feel a calling to glory, to devote yourself to a higher cause. This is a time to remember that the greatest warriors have the greatest heart. And in order to accomplish great things at this time, you must be able to connect to your vulnerability. So that is an interesting message. To reveal something deeper in your nature. To reveal what makes you human. This vulnerability will connect you to all of mankind and bring power to what you achieve at this time. This is a time to live and breathe the passion that exists within you for this love and passion that will lead you to ultimate glory. Wow. That is a very powerful and beautiful card. And apologies for the kitty cat snoring. So I don't believe we need any other cards from that deck because I believe that card was just pretty perfect for this message. <sighs> Spirit, what other messages have you got for us? Please come through. Nuit or Nut. So Nut comes from the Egyptian pantheon. So Nut, she is the personification of the night sky. So she is a star goddess. And there is a particular message and connection with the, with obviously with the light. So light bringers, star seeds. There is a connection here because nut she she lights up the dark places like a lot of light bringing deities she is a light in the dark places okay and it says the massive the message with this card is expansiveness again so that is kind of tying into the emperor sort of energy so emperor is about building and expanding and expansiveness so that can be taken lit literally literally and physically so expanding your empire or it can be expanse expansion of the soul so building and growing yourself and your potential expanding that is amazing. All right, so let me, I'm going to read what messages are in the book with this card. The one time she shows her face and she's snoring her head off. <laughs> time to think big. You, have, you are a star in your own right. There, un, there are unlimited possibilities. It is fine not to know every detail before proceeding. Mystery is a natural part of life. Nut's energy is as wide as the sky and as big as the universe and as bright as a star. Within the Egyptian pantheon, Nut played the role of a sky goddess. The celestial heavens were her body and below her in a mirror image lay her brother, the earth god, Geb. Nut invites us to share the infinite and expand accordingly. Her flowing energy suggests to us that there is nothing that we can't do and encourages us to be, embrace big possibilities. So again, that is tying in with the Emperor energy. 
while many of us are fearful to expand and to take risks in that growth. Nut encourages travelling forward with a strong intention anyway. When you are feeling small, when you are stuck in the tiny details, when you feel that there is no place in the world for you, Nut is the perfect goddess to help you find relief. Nut encourages you to think big and set positive intentions for our growth. Nut also offers comfort to those who feel that they have need to have all the answers all the time, which can be exhausting on so many levels. None of us are perfect. None of us know everything and it is unfair to put that type of pressure on ourselves. Not knowing actually leads to growth too. Nut champions the idea that there are some things that should stay unexplained due to the beauty of the mystery. I pull a couple of cards just to close this up with the Grimalkin Tarot. So Spirit, have you any other messages for us for this 4-4 portal for this month in general as well? Both for the portal and for the month of April. Please pull through messages. I feel like I want that card. So the Ten of Swords. Oh God. All right, that's quite an awful card. So the Ten of Swords in a reading represents cruelty. So that. So again, I feel like that. That is giving me battle. So like the like we was talking about the battle with Achilles. So that reminds me of like a war atrocity. Because there's all of those swords. So the ten of swords represents cruelty of other people and yeah, that is quite an awful card. Oh, I don't like that depiction, especially with the sword sticking in the cat. That is not nice at all. Okay, so the Ten of Swords. So yeah, that this is telling us to be be aware of the the conflicting energies around yourself. And holding your protection against those who would be cruel. A lot of people, so when a lot of people throw negative energy towards you, they do it because they want a rise from that. So they want to see how you react and they get a kick out of pushing your buttons, out of pushing you too far. But if, if you don't, react to that if you don't give them a rise then you'll have the last laugh when you're facing abuse and cruelty of, the, of that kind it's best to not not just isolate yourself it's good to surround yourself with other people with kind people with people who love you so, Spirit, please, what messages do you have for us? That, that was an important message. I do understand that. Again, it, it's like, like the whole Trojan War. It's so weird that the cars seem to all be connecting towards sort of like that battle and that war that's going on and the conflict. Okay. The Hermit is the next card which we've pulled, so I'll show you that. So the Hermit card is, again, that kind of ties in with the the Four energy as well. So there was the, the, rec the Recuperating. So the Hermit card, it's to do with magic and mystery. Again, so that does tie in with the nut card as well because she was to do with like magic and mystery and the 
unknown. So the hermit, he is, it's kind of, is what it says on the tin. The hermit, he isolates himself. That is interesting because I just said against doing that. But there is a time and place for for isolation. So there is, when you're going to isolate yourself, when, do it when it's for a good reason. Don't do it because you're receiving negativity from other people and you want to isolate yourself. Don't do that. So when you face negativity, surround yourself with people who, who love you and will make you feel happy and protected. Although when, when the time does come for isolation and introspection and for retreating into your shell, so it is good to take some time for reflection. So we have, we've had a couple of eclipses. We've just had the lunar eclipse and on the 8th of April. We have a solar eclipse coming up. So these are good times for reflecting and shadow work. That time that you take to, the time that you put in for this, it is, will result in a transformation so it's important work that you do when you take that time out for yourself because you're working on yourself and that then will help you to grow as a person help you to grow as a practitioner as a a witch as a spiritual being so the alone time is important as well bloom into that magical person all right i'm going to pull one last card for this reading okay spirit can you give us a message to close on this What would you like to tell us? Okay. Okay. Okay, this card. Four of Swords. Wow. That is so crazy. Wow. So that is funny. I was was literally just talking about that so that is one of the examples of the fours so again we're tapping in with the four energy the four energy is right there and the most important thing about this card is rest and recuperation so no matter what negativity is around you do what Tallulah is doing do what the kitty in the card is doing curl up in a ball rest Conserve your energy. Grow. Listen to the guidance that, that will be coming through in your dreams. Let's take a look at that card because I feel like there may be other important messages here. So I'm going to pull that out. So in, a des in desperate need of a break, the kitten found a place where he would not be distracted by the sounds of the creatures playing outside. There is much mischief and fun to be had. However, this little one knows that right now, what is needed the most is a good long cat nap so he can restore his energy. The time will come for him to feel strong enough to move through the house in a raucous play but for now he needs to recharge we have all been there right a friend calls wanting you to go out after a hard exhausting day and despite the heavy eyelids you find yourself desperately trying to muster up that extra burst of energy the thought of swords serves as a reminder that you need to honor your body and pay attention to the cues it is sending 
when we take a moment to step back, the energy of the Four of Swords steps in. We gain a better understanding of the motives behind what's pushing us into action, despite feeling emotionally and physically exhausted. In a reading, the Four of Swords may indicate your situation will benefit from slowing down or disengaging until you feel 100% mentally and physically up to the task. So it's interesting that it's talking about disengaging because that it was the the hermit card as well. So yeah, that is definitely a very strong message which is coming through to us for just taking taking a bit of distance, a bit of social distancing, cat style, resting, looking after yourself. You can rebuild that energy because we go through so much, we exert so much energy throughout the day, throughout the week. Every so often we just need some time to rebuild that energy. Please do check out the next video that YouTube will suggest for you and I will see you soon.